Hello everyone and welcome to another installment of Slam and Synapses. My name is Albert Gurrier. If you're reading me through YouTube on the computer, uh, you'll see a subscribe button up here. Click on that, keep it to the way your song going. If you want to drop me a comment, you could do so in the box below. If you're viewing me through a phone or otherwise, there's ways of doing that there, so take advantage of it. This segment's going to be submitted for possible inclusion to the PW Insider family or websites. It's pwinsider.com, pwinsiderelite.com, and pwinsiderextra, no E, dot com. You could also follow them on Facebook at pwinsider and on Twitter at pwinsider.com. Like I said many times before, the Elite site is a great paid site to go to. Lots of great audio, lots of great video. By all means, check them out. Um, got a couple of things I'm going to be going into. First, if you've heard the news, well, third top, third, three things real quick. First one, wish continued health to get better for Jerry Lawler. It seems like from every time that I've seen him on TV, he's recovering very well from the heart attack that he had. So my best wishes and prayers go out to him. Second topic, <clears throat> WWE NXT is now on Hulu+. Plus. As a matter of fact, a lot of WWE's program is now on Hulu+, Plus, but it's interesting. I, when it comes to time and schedules and things of that nature, I find it hard to watch Raw. I find it hard to watch SmackDown. I find it hard to watch Impact. Matter of fact, it's been ages since I've seen Impact. Um, it's been ages since I've seen SmackDown. And Raw, I'm able to sneak in like an hour or so. Sometimes more if I'm lucky, but usually it's about an hour, and sometimes I'll try to remember to get back to it. However, there's one show that I tend to try to find time to watch more than anything, and that's WWE NXT. Now, per, now, just just to let you know, I there's I was a ring announcer for a federation called Scott Kenny Wrestling, then turned into AAW, and on that, and basically we had a wrestler. Who started off in SCW, learned his trade, and went on to work in WWE NXT. And I've mentioned this many times before, but that man is Seth Rollins. So myself, I kind of watch it to see what he's up to, but also to see the next stage in development for many people that are up and coming. Plus, you also see some of the people that are on your Raw or in your SmackDown show show up on NXT from time to time just to give it some face time, and myself, I, like I said, I will try to find my time, I will try to find time to view NXT more than anything else, because to me, it's, they, they concentrate on wrestling, William Regal does an excellent job on commentary in getting over the wrestlers, um, t just to see the caliper of talent on the show, I'm kind of fearful if NXT becomes very widely watched on Hulu Plus, or people, or more people pay attention to it than have before. And the reason why I fear it is that I fear that if it gets to be a little bit too popular, that they're going to try to like introduce some raw touches to it and just manipulate the formula. When in reality, the formula doesn't need to be changed. So yeah, there's a lot of good wrestling you have. You have Seth Rollins, like I mentioned. You have <sighs> you have Biggie Langston, big husking guy that just could tear you apart without thinking twice. You have the Rotundo Boys, that's Husky Harris and Bo Rotundo. You have Michael McKillicuddy, Mr. Perfect Son there. You have, in my opinion, the next best tag team on the face of the planet that being the ascension there as well there's so many people that you could watch and enjoy and just it, even even on their diva side they have page page has been called the anti-diva i mean it's like she brings a lot to the table a lot of these people bring a lot to the table that deserve to be watched and that deserve to one day make it up to the main rosters on Raw and SmackDown, but my biggest fear there too is if they get up there, all this work that they've done for may kind of go out the wayside because of, of the focus being different in terms of how the shows are laid out. So, 
It's a it's it's a catch twenty two situation. You're damned if you're popular. You're damned if you don't. Another thing that's interesting about NXT is that at their full sale, they they do tapings at Full Sail University in Florida, and it's almost like watching an Impact taping because you have the crowd that's into it. You have the crowd that's a bit smart. You have the crowd that you really can't insult. That if you try to insult their intelligence, they will let you know about it. They will let you know about it. So, hey, if I were WWE, I would just leave NXT alone. If they grow and prosper, then they should grow and prosper based on their merits, based on their talent, and have every show from that point on continue to show off those merits, show off those talents, and show off why people watch that show. More than they more than they were before. I mean, before that, you would have had to. And what I did many times before is try to look around on YouTube for it. But now you have NXT on Hulu Plus. So if you have Hulu Plus, check it out. There was a lot of good programming on Hulu Plus. WWE NXT is a definite great addition to that. So give it a look. See. So third topic. Now we're going to be going into is a show that I saw on Netflix. A show called AWE Night of Legends, American Wrestling, American Wrestling something. The thing that surprised me is that it's on Netflix. You have WWE that's on there in prevalence, and most things on there with wrestlers are usually them in movies. But this, unless I really didn't dig deep, was the only wrestling show that wasn't one of the big feds. That's on Netflix. Ring of Honor's not there. Um, Impact's not there. But this, this this federation was lucky enough to have a show broadcast on Netflix. So, And even more surprising is the talent that they had on there. And the fact that it was com- it, the commentary was done by Chris Cruz, if you remember him WCW, Larry Zbysko, and Dutch Mantel. It for the most part, the show had a bit of an indie feel to it, because there were some people who kind of who need to tighten up their their promo skills. But I think they could go far. I mean, there was one match where, and I'm gonna try not to give away any spoilers on here to have you be able to watch and enjoy it yourself. But there was a typical American versus foreigner match in this one. Um, you had you had Sanjay Dutt appear. You ha- there was this great match between Short Sleeve Sampson. He's a he's a smaller wrestler going against a guy who's like four, whatever. It's a pretty decent match. I thought it'd be more of a jokey type thing, but they actually had a they actually had a good match going with them. So, and <laughs> believe it or not, to see a match. That has Kevin Nash on one side and Ricky Morton on the other side. <laughs> Matches you thought you'd never see in this lifetime. Well, like I said, I'm not going to give away spoilers, but it was a very interesting clash of styles by a couple of the most well-known talents on the in this in this sport. So, like I said, there was. I mean, I could, I could go on about stuff, and I get the feeling that this may be one of those segments that I could kind of rant on forever and a day. About. Well, not really rant, but just, just go over and talk about all aspects of it. But go watch it yourself. It's called AWE Night of Legends. Um, I guarantee you, you won't be disappointed if you like wrestling. I mean, you're not going to get. It's not going to be a WWE show, but it doesn't have to be. It does not have to be a WWE show. But if you're an old school fan like I am, you'll see a lot of things on the show that might surprise the hell out of you. (laughs) Trust me. So, yeah, check it out. If you want to drop me a comment, feel free to do so. You can do so at agurietyahoo.com. You could also, like, you could also... Catch me on Facebook at my name, Albert Gurrier. You could also like my Facebook page, Slam and Snaps. You could also follow me on Twitter at Slam and Snaps as well. Keep in mind, there is no G. So, 
For Albert Gurry, this is Slam on Synapsis saying see you next time. So long from Ringside, and have a good day, everybody. May the odds ever be in your favor. Good night.